right, so we have finally gotten to the styling process. Phew! Half of wash day is complete. Now it is time to braid up my hair and have a nice juicy braid out, okay? For this braid out, I'll be using Naturals Restoring Styling Cream. I'll also be using their Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner, Pure Avocado Oil, and Talia Wajid's Apple and Aloe Curl Definer. All right, and I still, I'm finding like little pieces of aloe vera in my hair, which I don't mind, you know? <laughs> it's good for my hair anyways, but some of it didn't wash all the way out. So these braids aren't going to be super tiny. Um, they're going to be about medium to large size. Ooh, and my hair feels amazing after all of that. My hair is like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> and the perfect products to style my hair. So I went with Natural and Talia Wajid just because Natural, they actually, their products are derived from natural ingredients. Um, so I just wanted to keep the theme go, um, going there. And then with Talia Wajid, it just has that really good hold. And my braid outs always turn out amazing when I use her curl definer. So that's like one of my staple products, one of the products that I use since the beginning of my hair journey. Um, or I guess brand, I should say, is Talia Wajid. Right, so my hair is done being braided up. Of course, once it's dry, I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so I have kept my braids in for two days. Um, last time I did a braid out, I took them out way too early and the roots were still wet. And so it was like half frizzy, half defined. So this time I made sure to keep my braids in for two days, especially with all of the moisture and hydration I put in with my Jamaican Girl wash day routine. Um, you really wanna make sure that those braids are fully, fully dry to get the best, most defined, most to get the best most defined and long lasting braid out all right so yeah now i'm going to unravel these i'll be using my jamaican black castor oil on my fingertips to help me just gently unravel these while sealing in the moisture so i have been taking a break from my eyelash extensions and so right now i actually have on like just the regular strip lashes that you glue on but the thing is, it's been like over a year plus since I have even put on or worn um, strip eyelashes. So if you see me blinking a little extra, <laughs> it's because I'm literally not used to having like something glued. I mean, I had the individual extensions glued to my extensions, but those just feel so natural. Whereas the strips, it feels like something is sitting on my eyes. So I'm just having to adjust. So if you guys see me blinking, that is why. But yeah, my makeup came out so cute. I will definitely be getting my ex eyelash extensions back, but my eyelashes, my natural lashes do need a break. So yeah, I am taking that now. <laughs>
So all that is left to do for this braid out is to just add some body. So all I'm going to do is just separate where my braid out naturally separates. So you guys saw that natural separation. I just gently pull it apart. And um, I don't overdo it, especially not on day one. You don't want to overdo it. So yeah, just go through and separate where your curl naturally has a little indentation, if that makes sense. Alright y'all, so I did do my little trick where I add a little bit of product on the end just to make my braid out pop and look like my natural curl pattern. So I will say after doing this routine, I feel a noticeable difference um, in my hair. It feels super hydrated. Um, I have been dealing with some hair issues if you guys haven't noticed. So I've just been really making sure that I'm low maintenance and doing things that are going to put back the protein into my hair and um, just making sure that I'm taking good care of my hair while doing these videos. Mm -hmm. 